I'd invite you in and we'd take a look around the observatory and uh, try to get an idea of why this mount tracks pretty well. I use a lot of techniques that everyone else uses. I don't do anything super fancy, uh, but there's a few things I do different. And uh, I also install a few parts that are a little different. But for the most part, uh, someone's done this before. I'm not the first and I am guarantee I won't be the last. So this AVX has about 37 pounds on it with an RC6, an ED100, a 71 quad, heavy little booger, and all the gear and wires and laser and star sense and, and uh, filter wheel, and I don't have the off-axis guider on right now, but normally it sits over here. And uh, extra camera and stuff, a dual saddle. Uh, you'll notice my counterweights for this payload, you would think they would be all the way at the end. Well, one of the little secrets to carrying this payload is, is you'll notice I've got everything pretty low profile here. I mean, if you look at that, you know, my do controllers on the bottom side of the of the saddle over there, and everything's pretty low profile. This thing don't stick up in the air hardly at all. I keep everything flat. Uh, it's hard to balance that way, but I can load it down. It's all about that moment of inertia. Yes! So, Let's talk about a little bit why this thing tracks pretty good. The first thing that just is obvious, uh, it's on a pier. Uh, <laughs> it's on a, it's not just any pier. This isn't a pier you go by. No, this is a thick pier that's filled with concrete reinforced rebar that goes eight feet underground with a four foot bell. Uh, I'm a farmer. I use tools like this all the time and we actually leveled this with a D6N XL dozer. It was about one millimeter off from side to side. We had to level the pier up just a little bit as it was starting to cure. And uh, oh, I can go over in another video what I wish I would have done and, and uh, done different. I use cast iron rotors on purpose. Uh, cast irons le less uh, less flexure. They're they're more brittle, but we're not going to be striking them with hammers. Uh, they're also like in big machine shops if you go to the John Deere plant or any huge machine shop underneath the big large heavy uh, machine presses they actually use these under them because they're notorious for dealing with vibration they have much better vibration dampening qualities they do not flex they do not bend they just break they also don't rust as fast so all the aluminum guys and steel guys they they uh, you know say use this or that but from an old farmer's perspective, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, cast iron, that's going to be, if you want something solid and you don't want it to move whatsoever, you're going to use cast iron. Uh, most people don't like it. You have to weld it with nickel rod, you know, use nickel rod. It welds easy if you, if you have nickel rod. It's not too hard. Uh, next up, I'll discuss what's going on inside this mount that makes it a little bit different.